I've been a watch dealer for about five years and an online orologist for going on seven. I've owned and sold numerous Omegas and Rolexes throughout the years. And honestly, I don't know if any of those things matter to you, but here's four reasons I personally would choose Omega over Rolex. It is 2.14 p.m. Let's get down to business. Now guys, to be totally fair, I'm not wearing one of my Rolexes or one of my Omegas in this episode. I'm wearing this gorgeous Longines Tank circa 1969 available right now at the Time Teller shop. Guys, we are almost sold out over at the shop for this month's stock. I think we have two watches available right now before the next restock. And uh, if you use the coupon code COLLECTOR at checkout, you'll save yourself some money. So why would I, as a fairly experienced watch enthusiast, choose Omega over Rolex? Well, first, it comes down to specs for the money. Rolexes are often double the list price of most comparable Omegas. But I'm not so sure Rolex is double the quality. For instance, the Rolex Milgauss is known as a science-based kind of anti-magnetic watch. That's its function, that's its main claim to fame. To buy a Milgauss nowadays, you're looking at an average cost of $16,000. The Rolex Milgauss is rated to a thousand Gauss. Now you can get an Omega Railmaster, a watch I just recently reviewed, brand new for under 4,000 bucks. That Omega Railmaster, again, that I had in my hands for that review, is rated to 15,000 Gauss. And don't even get me started about how the Omega Ultra Deep just destroyed Rolex's deep sea line, just crushed their claim to fame. The next reason I would choose Omega over Rolex is because nowadays Omega gives us more varied, interesting complications. Now I get it, Rolex has a couple interesting complications with the Sky Dweller and the Yacht Master 2. But aside from that, you have one chronograph. And okay, I mean, they did have the 6062 way, way, way back when, which was a triple date moon phase. And I guess the Cellini line did have a moon phase recently. Listen, Omega has dates, days, GMTs, multiple chronographs, world time watches, even tourbillons. The next reason I choose Omega over Rolex is because Omega gives us more options when we're looking at case materials. Omega uses steel, yellow gold, Bronze gold, rose gold, white gold, titanium, platinum, ceramic. Rolex doesn't do bronze gold. Rolex doesn't do ceramic cases. Rolex just started using titanium for one watch last year. And the final reason that I would choose Omega over Rolex time and time again is because you can actually buy an Omega. Okay, that, like everyone knew that I was getting to this point. You cannot buy any cool Rolex. Period. It's incredibly frustrating. It's a huge bummer. You have to do a whole song and dance pony show to get a, a, the, the Rolex that you want. But in Omega, you can go to any AD, any boutique, and they'll probably have the watch that you want. And it's going to cost a whole lot less than a comparable Rolex. And again, as we just looked at earlier in the list, there might not be a comparable Rolex that even exists because, okay, let's say we're comparing a bronze gold Omega Seamaster to something that Rolex offers. They don't have bronze gold at Rolex. Okay, let's compare a ceramic Speedmaster to something that Rolex has. I mean, they don't make a cosmograph in ceramic. You just have more options, more variables, more complications, more interest when it comes to Omega. And I think one of the coolest parts about Omega watches nowadays is that they're willing to take risks that Rolex won't. You get really interesting dials, really interesting materials, skeletonized watches, tourbillon. Uh, Rolex will not do that. So you guys have your own perspective, I'm sure. Sound off in the comment section. I learn from you just as much as you learn from me. But in my professional and personal opinion, I choose Omega over Rolex. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Mm -hmm.